In this one we're going to have a look at multiple method arguments and we're also going to have a look at how we can solve certain problems using something called named arguments. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add another argument to this. Now because I've specified a default value here and because by default uh, the arguments are read in order, if I wanted to add a second argument, so what I'm thinking of is uh, for this here, where we're using this 100, I'm going to actually pass in a argument called divisor and we'll replace the 100 with something more dynamic with a variable. And so we can divide it by 100 or we can divide it by 1 if the currency is already in the denomination that we want it to be in. Then let's add that second argument, divisor. And here we'll say divisor. And you'll see that my editor is complaining about me. And in the bottom left hand corner it's saying optional, optional parameter is provided before required. So this is known as an optional parameter. The reason it's optional is like we saw, it already has a default value. So we can, um, if we want to pass in a value and pass something which is different from the default, then we can do that. But if we want to stick with the default, then like the name says, it's optional. We don't need to actually um, pass a value for this. However, for this one, because this doesn't have a default value, then we need to give this a value in each instance. And so we can't do this in this order because if we try to do this in the order that it's in, things won't work. What we'll do is we'll actually go and run this first and so you can have a look at that error. So I'm not going to pass a currency symbol. I'm going to leave that using the default. And so now you can probably see where our problem is going to lie because I'm going to pass in a divisor of 100. But these being positional arguments means that it thinks that the currency symbol is 100. Let's run this. And so we get an argument count error. Too few arguments to function price as currency. So like I say, it thinks that the 100 is referring to the currency symbol, which means if that is referring to the currency symbol, it means that we wouldn't have passed the divisor and the divisor doesn't have a default value. So the way we get around this current problem is we just need to switch them around. And so I'll send that to there. And so now the 100 is the divisor and we already have a currency symbol because we've given it a default value. If we go and run this again, so now we get $1. So that's okay. What I'm going to do now is set you a little challenge. And that is for you to just practice giving something a default value. And then just have a little play around with this by passing the default value and not passing it. So first things first, give divisor a default value. So that's easy to do. Just give it a default value. And then like I say, test it out by, uh, you can call this method with a default value and then call it without a default value. So pause me and give that a go. So that shouldn't pose you any problems. What I'll do is I'll set the default divisor to one. So that means when we go to divide the price, it's not gonna alter it at all. So that would be quite a good default. And then you'd only actually alter the price if there was a specific need to do so. And so first off, uh, we'll test it out by passing. So we'll pass 100, and which means we should get the same result as previous. We get $1. And then if we actually uh, don't pass anything to our method call here, and if we go and run this again, and so this time we get $100 because we've started out with a price of 100 and we're dividing it by one using this default here. Let's now think about another problem. What if I just wanted to stick with this default divisor? I didn't want to change that. However, I don't want my currency to be in dollars. What would happen if I said pounds here? Let's go and run this. And so we get an error. And it's uncaught type error, unsupported operand types, int divided by string. So where is that happening? And it's happening on this line here. So we have the price, which is an integer, but it's dividing it by a string because it thinks that we are passing in the pound as the divisor. So how do we get around this problem if we just want to pass a currency symbol, but we're happy with the default? Because we might have 
uh, five or six arguments and there might only be one that we want to change and we might be happy with the rest of the defaults. The way we can do this is something called named arguments. What you would do here is uh, you precede the pound symbol here with the name of the actual variable that it refers to. So in our case that is currency symbol. And so just like that, and then followed by a colon, and notice that we don't use the dollar, it's just the name of the variable followed by a colon, and then followed by the value. And so by doing this, it means that the divisor default will remain, and all we are changing is the actual currency symbol. So nice and easy to follow really. This is quite a new edition so you'll need to be using PHP 8 or higher. If you're not using PHP 8 or higher this won't actually work for you. So just a little disclaimer there. Let's actually go and run this again now. And so as you can see now we get $100. Why do we get $100? Because the price is $100. We're sticking with the default divisor of 1. So price remains 100 however we are overriding the default dollar symbol with a pound symbol because when we actually call the method we're saying we want the currency symbol to be a pound